That's what they if do. If you don't do this, you're not gonna go higher than this. That's what they do. You know how many times I've heard it? That's what I was gonna ask. You, you're, you're in the industry. Yeah. Did they ever say, if come in this room, Jack? Yeah, I'm, let's, I was, I was Let's told. get down. Yeah, I was told. And you will see some doors open. I was. By a rapper that I knew. I won't say his name and I won't say the name of his group. They put him on me. He had the camera set up in the room. He, me, he did everything he was supposed to do. He just felt guilty about it in the morning. So he asked Wendy Williams. That did happen to her too. And it was women that set that up because they didn't like her swag and they were afraid that she was gonna steamroll them because they knew when it came to creating content that was a G. Puffy wants Cassie back. He's using it to try to help him to get support. Cassie posted a photo of herself the other day. Here's the photo. And he commented, love you forever. Well, I thought that he was now with a 22 year old. Puffy posted a picture of Michael Jackson's song, Lady in My Life, and wrote, if anyone sees Cassie this weekend, please tell her to listen to this song 100 times. Would that get you? It would get me. Would that get you? It, it would get me. It, 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 it would get me. It. Kanye and, and ASAP Rocky yeah. recently uh, wore skirts and dresses. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you familiar with both? Yeah. Um, what do you think of this fashion? Really? Remember, I am hip hop. Yeah, exactly. It's funny how when men get older in hip hop, they're still, you know, well respected, well versed, cool Herc, you know what I'm saying, and um, and Red Alert, and you know the legends, KRS-One, you know, you put me in there, and all of a sudden it's like, oh no, Wendy's a talk show lady. Uh, no. Running the well, talking about expensive pain in his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jack. Fuck me. Wait a minute. He's a fucking fruit loop. He did he five. This is Philly. He's a deep fried <laughs> He did he fried. He did he fried. He did did he do I bop. Fuck me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was him. She, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? And, uh, did he had he had put everybody else out the crib like the the influx of people he had put him out but he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time man it was really you know what i mean like putting his arm around me right so he had put majority of the people out but he allowed me to stay in there mm -hmm. me and you know maybe about maybe about 15 others you know right jay-z and beyonce being you know, two of the other 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 fifteen people in the room. So that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was in right. at the moment, you know. And she came over and, and introduced herself to me. Like But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these all you fake hard you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake niggas Let's dive deep into the complex relationship dynamics between Wendy Williams and Diddy, delving into the scandals, allegations, and their impact on both their careers. As a little intro, Wendy Williams began her career in radio, where she quickly gained a reputation for her bold and often controversial style of celebrity gossip. Her outspoken nature made her a household name, but also a target for backlash. And Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or simply Diddy, rose to fame as a music producer, rapper, and entrepreneur, becoming one of the most influential figures in hip-hop. Their paths crossed in the late 1990s, a time when Wendy's career in radio was burgeoning and Diddy was solidifying his status in the music industry. Wendy's penchant for sensationalism led her to make several inflammatory remarks about Diddy on her radio show Hot 97, including insinuations about his sexuality. These comments did not sit well with Diddy, who was known to fiercely protect his public 
image, and Diddy seems like didn't let that slide. Wendy often hinted that Diddy might be gay or bisexual, based on rumors circulating in the entertainment industry. These speculative comments were made without concrete evidence and were perceived by many as an attempt to provoke and sensationalize. Diddy, whose career was built on a carefully curated public image, was reportedly infuriated by Wendy's remarks. There were claims that Diddy attempted to have Wendy fired from her job at Hot 97, a popular New York radio station, as a direct response to her allegations. Wendy Williams has often spoken about the professional repercussions she faced due to her contentious relationship with Diddy. She claimed that Diddy's influence led to her being blackballed in the industry, limiting her opportunities, and creating obstacles in her career. In her 2004 book, The Wendy Williams Experience, she wrote that she had a certain level of contempt for Puff because he single-handedly tried to ruin her career. The hell he put me through, she penned, I will never forget, but I don't hate him. Again, this alleged interference exemplified the deep animosity between them and highlighted Diddy's influence in the industry. Despite these challenges, Wendy continued to build her brand, eventually transitioning to television with The Wendy Williams Show. Furthermore, as both Wendy and Diddy's careers evolved, so did the nature of their public interactions. While their early conflicts were marked by direct and aggressive exchanges, later years saw a more complex interplay of reconciliation and underlying tension. Throughout the years, there have been moments when Wendy and Diddy appeared to put aside their differences. In 2017, Diddy appeared on The Wendy Williams Show, marking a significant moment of public reconciliation. During the interview, they addressed some of their past issues in a seemingly cordial manner. This interaction suggested a willingness to move past old grievances, although it was clear that underlying tensions remained. Despite these attempts at reconciliation, Wendy continued to comment on Diddy's life and career, often reigniting old controversies. For example, when Diddy and Cassie broke up for good in 2018, Williams was initially rooting for the pair to get back together since Diddy publicly declared his love for Cassie on Williams's talk show. However, after seeing Diddy attempt to win Cassie back on social media, Williams labeled his behavior as manipulation. Also, she marked that Diddy needed some kind of support from Cassie and was never about love. I suggest don't use social media though to reach out. I think this was a grand overture from Puffy. I don't believe he really wants her back, she said at the time. I believe he probably treated her, at some point, like a possession. If you really cared, then you'd reach out privately, not publicly. Wendy kept discussing Diddy's relationships, business practices, and various rumors about his personal life. These comments have kept their feud alive in the public eye, with media coverage often highlighting the ongoing tension between the two. All in all, Wendy Williams's career has been significantly shaped by her feuds with high-profile celebrities like Diddy. Her willingness to tackle controversial topics and speak her mind, regardless of the consequences, has earned her both admiration and criticism. The tension with Diddy in particular has been a defining aspect of her public persona. However, Wendy's career has not been without its struggles. Her health issues, including a diagnosis of primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia, have forced her to step away from the spotlight. These challenges have been documented in a recent Lifetime documentary titled Where is Wendy Williams, which explores her personal and professional struggle. As for Diddy, the ongoing feud with Wendy Williams has been a notable aspect of his public life, but it has not overshadowed his significant contributions to the music industry. As a producer, rapper, and entrepreneur, Diddy has built a multifaceted career that extends beyond the controversies. His ability to maintain a powerful presence in the entertainment world speaks to his resilience and strategic acumen. In recent years, Wendy Williams's health has become a major concern, leading to her temporary departure from her show and a period of rehabilitation. She has been diagnosed with serious health conditions that affect her cognitive abilities, which raises questions about her future in the media industry. Meanwhile, Diddy continues to be active in various business ventures, including music production, fashion, and spirits. He remains a significant figure in the entertainment industry, although he has largely refrained from engaging in public disputes with Wendy or other celebrities. We can speculate that if there were legal disputes, Wendy might have insights or information about Diddy's dealings that could be relevant, especially if she discussed these matters on her show based on credible sources or direct knowledge. Her testimony could help corroborate claims made by others if she has spoken to witnesses or victims or has other relevant information. However, given Wendy Williams's significant health issue, the question arises whether she could testify against Diddy in a court of law regarding the latest scandals. Wendy
Andy's diagnosis of primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia significantly affects her cognitive and communicative abilities. This could impact her capacity to provide reliable testimony, especially if her memory and speech are severely impaired. If a legal case were to arise where Wendy's testimony was deemed crucial, the court would need to determine her legal competency to testify. Factors such as the relevance of her knowledge, her ability to recall events accurately, and her capacity to communicate effectively would all be considered. Given her health condition, alternative methods such as video depositions or written statements might be utilized, with appropriate accommodations to ensure her participation is as effective as possible. The relationship between Wendy Williams and Diddy is full of drama and ups and downs. Their public fights grab attention and show how intense celebrity relationships can be. Even though Wendy has health problems and Diddy's doing great in business, their clashes still make headlines. Their ongoing feud reminds us of how famous people deal with power struggles and constant scrutiny. Whether it's direct arguments or the fallout from past fights, Wendy Williams and Diddy have definitely left a lasting impact on each other's lives and careers.